YouTube if you're subscribed and everybody on the remaining social network, he's the 6 Dark King, and today, well, we're going to do something we haven't done for quite a while, a let's watch. From Screw Attack, today's Naruto vs Ichigo. I just had to do this one. I really like Bleach, the anime, not the final part of the manga, and Naruto, okay, I like both the, fin the finale of the anime and the finale of the manga, and I'm following the Boruto manga, the anime, yeah. I need to think about it. But I want to see what the screw attack can have to say. Personally, eh, depends. If Naruto's chakra can hit Ichigo's Reishi form, Ichigo wins just for the fact that he can't be hit, but if he couldn't, there won't be much of a death battle, so let's assume he can. So, it isn't as cut and dry as you'd think, you know, with whole Mungetsu, so that he is against Aizen, even Naruto's full-fledged QB B and Juby before would have a hard time dealing with that so well when they do the ad I'll tell you my opinion until then let's get started and you just grammar applies but for criticism purposes unfair you body body why you know the drill let's go so we don't like copyright engineering against hopefully although all the, all the death battles I've been seeing have been flagged as non advertised friendly for some mysterious reason. Anyway, let's do this. And. What? The Holy Shonen Indeed. Trinity. The Big Three. Any longtime reader of Shonen Jump will recognize these, some of the biggest titles in manga and anime <laughs> history. And it's time for two of those shonen heroes to throw Indeed. down. Naruto Uzumaki, ninja prodigy of the Hidden Leaf. And Ichigo Kurosaki, the enormously powerful soul reaper from Bleach. He's Wiz Nine Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> so he's going to Toriyama. Interesting. Konoha, the village hidden in the leaves, is a pretty quiet town. Not what I'd expect for a city full of ninja. Still, there was at least one troublemaker among the bunch. The number one knucklehead ninja, Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> I'm home, everyone! Naruto Uzumaki has returned to the Hidden Leaf Village! Yeah, Orphaned at a young Details. age and ostracized by his peers, Naruto may have been mischievous, but he had great aspirations. His goal was to become the town's Hokage. Which is a fancy word for ninja governor. The only way Naruto could reach such a prestigious position was to excel in ninja school. Like Ninja Harry Potter. Though he should really find a place that'll teach him not to dress like a clown and run like a real human being. What does he think he is, an airplane? Actually, his posture likely decreases wind resistance, which could be beneficial when moving at superhuman speeds where angular momentum is a smaller factor. <laughs> I remember when you ran like that in middle school. Hey, that was for research. Sure, Wiz. Anyway, while Naruto wasn't the best student, he still tried his hardest to reach his goal. But first, he'd have to learn how to control his chakra. In Buddhism and Hinduism ideologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body which can be opened to achieve enlightenment. Hmm. But the ninja in Naruto's world had a slightly different interpretation. I'll oh, say, they weaponized it. Naruto can use chakra for all sorts of flashy attacks. He can heal himself, seal monsters away, walk up walls, or even stand on water like a ninja <laughs> Jesus. He's learned a number of chakra techniques, or jutsus, Gesundheit. and even developed a few new ones of his own. <laughs> yeah. Really? They can... Yeah. His signature move is the Shadow Clone Jutsu, where he can copy and paste himself over and over and over again. Unlike the standard clone technique, Shadow Clones are tangible with their own combat capabilities. By dividing his chakra between himself and his clones, it's nearly impossible to distinguish the real Naruto from the fakes. And he can get pretty tricky when he makes thousands of them. But when strategies can't save the day, he can always just beat his opponents down with a Rasengan. By spinning chakra in his hand, Naruto creates a compact ball of energy which can blast through solid stone. While the Rasengan usually takes years to learn, Naruto figured it out after training for just over a week. Not bad. He's invented more Rasengans than Willy Wonka's invented candies. But his top pick is the Rasen Shuriken. 
By combining the Rasengan with the element of wind, he uses it to turn the spinning ball into a spinning blade. This baby can trap you in a vortex of wind so sharp, it'll mess you up at a cellular level. Naruto has plenty of other techniques up his orange sleeves, including summoning, substitution, and transformation jutsus. He can even transform into a... <laughs> uh, a naked woman. Ho 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 ho! Looks like he's been studying. I guess that's one plus side to not having parents. You don't need to worry about anyone walking in on you. While most individuals have chakra, everyone has a limit. The more physical and spiritual energy one possesses, the more chakra they'll have at their disposal. Just like the gas tank from a chainsaw. Thanks to his heritage, Naruto already has a great deal of chakra. Even still, he has far more than he reasonably should, all thanks to the beast within. Yeah, he's got a monster in his stomach. Let's backtrack a few years. On the day of Naruto's birth, his village was attacked by a chakra beast known as the Nine-Tailed yeah, Fox. That was a, mess. a monster so destructive, a mere swing of its tails could level a mountain. In desperation, the Hokage at the time sacrificed himself to split the Nine-Tails in two, sealing one half within his own son, Naruto. So his first ever birthday gift to his son was a giant pet fox that can destroy cities? <laughs> I wish he was my dad. Eventually, Naruto discovered how to communicate with the Ninetales. They didn't get along at first. Foxy would threaten to eat Naruto, Naruto would whack him over the head with a big shrine gate, you know, typical roommate <laughs> drama. Still, they eventually became friends, and Naruto learned the fox's name was Kurama. Afterward, Kurama willingly shared his chakra with Naruto on a regular basis. And as a being composed of chakra, Kurama's reserves are gigantic. With so much power at his fingertips, Naruto can enter a bunch of different super forms. First up is Sage Mode, which sounds like something he'd learn from an old wise man or wizard, right? <laughs> nope, he learned it from a frog. This state increases all of Naruto's physical abilities. Ah, Furthermore, stage. Sage Mode allows that Naruto to man. perceive the oh, entire area awesome. around him and tap into naturally occurring energy via Senjutsu. He can enhance his chakra attacks by adding natural energy, but if he's not careful, he'll turn into a frog. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. With Kurama's chakra, Naruto can enter multiple tailed beast forms, which drastically increases physical prowess and energy output. Best of which is the Nine Tails Chakra Mode. Flame on! It yeah, got even good. better when he befriended Mr. Fox, upgrading to the stronger, faster, tougher Kurama Chakra Mode. Chakra Mode grants Naruto extra protection, a sense for negative emotions, and the ability to create additional chakra arms. Whoa, that's a lot of hands! Gotta wonder what kind of things he does with those, right? Uh, overwhelming attacks, extra maneuverability, creating rocks and shurikens, the works. Yeah, that's not what I was- Ah, that creepy daddy hand! <laughs> he can also shroud himself in a nine tails sized avatar and use Kurama's ultimate attack, the Tailed Beast Bomb. So destructive, it can level a mountain range. And for his final yeah, five form, it's tons. spoiler Damn. time. Pay attention, cause, yeah. <laughs> All of this chakra stuff started with an alien named Kaguya, who ate a fruit which basically created chakra. Later, she got all murder happy, so her son stopped her. One of these sons, the Sage of Six Paths, had his own son named Ashura, and Naruto is a reincarnation of him. So yeah, Naruto's kind of an <laughs> alien. Through this connection, Naruto was gifted the most divine form of energy, Six Paths Chakra. With it, he can enter Six Paths Sage Mode. His strength gets boosted even more. He can fly, and he can use truth-seeking walls, which are orbs of chakra that can transform into weapons and destroy anything they touch. He can combine all these forms and further add natural energy to his Kurama avatar to form Six Paths Ashura Kurama Sage Mode. Ooh, Good god, that's a confusing amount of forms. Anyway, Naruto is also an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and could run faster than the eye could see when he was just 12 years old. He's dodged a lightning speed punch from the fourth Raikage, a feat considered comparable to his father, who could teleport. He even dodged this light speed loogie! According to the fourth data book, this light fang attack does indeed move at light speed, over 670 million miles per hour. He's tough enough to survive getting stabbed, have his soul ripped out, or get smacked in the face with a beam that can slice the frickin' moon apart. Not your best move, but... Move, movie, but... Eh. He's fought also, multiple tailed beasts at once, here, so lift a statue weighing several hundred tons, 
survived a fall from the clouds, gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with invisible limbo shadows, and pulverized six falling meteorites simultaneously. His chakra is so tough, he can power through Amaterasu, a fire jutsu with flames so strong, they burn other flames. He could even make new eyeballs for blind people. What's up with that? Oh, and in his final fight with rival and possibly closet boyfriend Sasuke, their opposing power was so great they obliterated miles upon miles of land, changing the weather and disintegrating a lake. Only then, after defeating Sasuke, saving the world from Kaguya, and reuniting the split halves of Kurama, Naruto finally achieved his dream and became Hokage. Long but he's still journey. pretty dumb. I mean, he named his son Burrito. Boruto. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna run away. I never go back on my word. Yep, that's my that ninja. Right. My ninja way. Shinigami. It may sound like a foreign word to some, but you all know yep. what it is. The Death God, the Grim Reaper of Souls, and the 17-year-old Ginger with a badass sword. Ichigo Kurosaki seemed like a pretty normal kid growing up doing well in school and learning martial arts from his father. <laughs> Except there was one little oddity. He could see ghosts. Oh, it's like oh. the kid from The Sixth Sense. That's I see it. dead people. One day when he was nine years old and walking home with his mother, young Ichigo noticed what he thought was a girl about to fall into a river. So naturally, he ran over to rescue her like the brave little kid he was. Except it wasn't really a girl at all. It was a hollow. A monster spawned from an abandoned human soul, and it promptly they killed his mother. Books. Bummer. Reminds me of how I lost my poor mama boomstick. <sighs> she is oh, oh, she so many heroes have that to have death parents before it. Right. Well, Ichigo remained ignorant of the truth until years later, when he met a woman named Rukia, who held the illustrious job title of Shinigami, or Soul Reaper, a guardian of the dead who keeps balance in the universe by helping those who have passed move on to the afterlife. Otherwise, they'd turn into violent hollows. And if you show up late to work and it doesn't work out, the Soul Reaper can always cut hollows down with their awesome swords, like Samurai Ghostbusters. Yeah, anyway, the two of them got into a bind, and Rukia had to share some of her power with Ichigo. Turns out, he was a surprise Soul Reaper all along. Convenient. When yeah. accessing his Shinigami power, Ichigo leaves his physical body for a new one made up of Reishi, or spiritual matter, which makes him invisible to anyone in the living world, despite yeah. still being physically these... present. No, and his new powers make him now. super deadly. He can move Actually, with blinding speed, cut through giant monsters with ease, survive being punched through whole city blocks, and even fly through the air. It's more accurate to say he walks yeah. through the air, using naturally occurring Reishi as footholds. But let's get to the dicey part of his getup. That awesome this sword. It's water. a Sanpakuto, a blade connected to its owner's soul. It may look like an oversized steak knife, but it's a Soul Reaper's best friend. Every Shinigami possesses a Zanpakuto spirit within themselves, which manifests as their sword. Ichigo's is called Zangetsu. Well, <laughs> both of them are. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Strap in, because this shit's about to get crazy. You think? Ichigo actually has two different Zanpakuto spirits drawn from his weird and confusing heritage. All right, so long story short, Ichigo's a soul reaper because his dad is too. But he's also part Quincy, which is a human with Reishi powers, because that's what his mom was. But he's also part hollow because his mom was possessed by a hollow called White, and White got passed on to him when he was born. Oh, and he's also part Fullbringer, but nobody cares about Yeah, Fullbringer. ignore that. Never One happens. of Ichigo's inner spirits is a manifestation of his Quincy side inherited from his mother, while the other is a fusion of his Shinigami power and the hollow. Unfortunately, Shinigami and Quincy go together like oil yeah, and water. Mix. While trying to find a balance between these two sides, Ichigo learned plenty of neat techniques. Like his bread and butter attack, the Getsuga Tensho. Getsuga By concentrating his Reatsu, or spiritual pressure, I through his sword, now. Ichigo can launch a massive slashing attack. Call it like it is, Wiz. It's a sword beam. <laughs> yeah, and Ichigo can charge it up, fire from up close, or even blast two of them at once. From his Quincy side, Ichigo has used Blut Vina a temporary defense which grants inhuman durability. From his Shinigami training, he developed exceptional sword skills and learned Shunpo, or Flash Step, which greatly enhances his speed. But there's one really big deal we haven't talked about yet. 
Over the course of his career battling Hollows and protecting his friends, Ichigo has attained many, many different superpowered forms, starting with the base Shinigami form, Shikai. Despite essentially being Ichigo's base, this form is strong enough to block an attack from the Sokyoku, said to have power equal to 1 million Zampakto. The next step was Bankai. Normally it takes 10 years to reach this form, but Ichigo did it in just two days, like a boss. When using Bankai, one's power can grow anywhere from 5 to 10 times greater. And according to the official data book, while in Bankai, Ichigo moves like lightning. Wait, why does his sword shrink when he goes Bankai? Shouldn't yeah, it be kind of bigger since power. he's stronger? Technically, yes, but Ichigo can game. control its size to keep it more manageable. If Shinigami couldn't minimize their blades, some would have swords the size of skyscrapers. Awesome! Anyway, the hollow inside wanted a piece of the action too, so Ichigo gained a new power boost with a spoopy hollow mask. This form is strong enough to lift five iron pillars, each weighing nearly 100 tons. Though if he's not careful, the hollow can take control of his body, sending him into a violent berserker state commonly referred to as Vastolorde. Despite the lack of consciousness, Vastolorde Ichigo could heal quickly and was strong enough to overcome Ukiyo, Best who was powerful enough in the to Nuka City. After some quality training with his dad, Ichigo got a sort of second Bankai, which most people call Dangai Ichigo. <laughs> In this form, he shattered mountains without even trying. He broke through the black coffin attack, which distorts time and space, which sounds like a black hole. Right after that, he survived a shot so freaking big, the explosion could be seen for miles. By comparing this crater to those left by real-life bomb tests, I'd estimate the attack to have a maximum explosive yield of 814 kilotons. Yeah, that's not compared to That's like Benji Ichigo Dama, surviving but... 54 oh, well. little boys to the face. <laughs> no, 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 I meant, I meant the bomb from 1945. Not the, oh, God. Okay, I had to. Uh, well, try as those little boys might, all it did to Ichigo was burn his arm. And he didn't even care. This guy isn't the type to give up. For his ultimate attack, Dongai Ichigo literally becomes the Getsuga Tensho itself. I know that's confusing, but just yeah. roll with it. To summon the incredibly that was powerful to be the end of the Getsu, series, so. which busted up one of the biggest patties in the whole series. But it also sacrificed all of Ichigo's powers. Well, that's a raw deal, but 17 months later, he managed to get them back with Fullbringer powers, which enhanced his physical abilities. But then he lost those two. It's worth noting that while in Fullbring Shikai, his normal sword swings were as strong as his old Getsuga Tensho. But he still didn't give up. After training with some top tier Soul Reapers and eating some food which gave him Super Reatsu, the moment came. In the most epic quenching of all time, an entire sea disintegrated to form his new true Shikai, complete with not one, but two Zengetsu swords. Finally balancing the Shinigami, the Hollow, and the Quincy within, Ichigo had reached his full potential. He tamed his Vastolorde form, merging it with his Quincy side. In this form, he can combine his Getsuga Tensho with one of the strongest Hollow attacks, the Grand Ray Sero. He also made a trip that normally takes a week in only 9 hours and 15 minutes. And last but not least, he achieved a brand new level of Bankai which was immediately crushed by some old dude who planned to destroy the universe named... He what? You what? Yeah, but... He what? It's probably inspired by the Hebrew name for God, Yahweh, and, and the katakana ends with a sharp k sound, so... Yeah. You walk? Yeah, what you gonna do? Well, we can assume this Bankai worked similar to his old ones, increasing its physical speed and strength along with his Riatsu tenfold. Even without his Bankai, he still cut Mustache Man to shreds. And then he lived happily ever after. Until his kid became oh. a Soul Reaper. <laughs> What'd he name him? Bitchigo? What? No, it's Kazuma. <laughs> uh, I might have got him mixed up with the other uh, Enchilada kid or whatever. <laughs> eh, close enough. Now I'm Ichigo Kurosaki, Substitute Soul Reaper, and I'm combining my powerful spirit energy with this blade in order to protect my friends! Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, did you know that Naruto and Ichigo are named after food? Naruto Maybe did. you can it's find them in your next bunch from Blue Apron! Huh. Anyway, at time. So, interesting. I knew pretty much all of it, just not the yields. So, 
this is interesting because Mungetsu is... If I had to guess, I'd say this is gonna go down to an absolute OP uh, Genkidama versus the Mungetsu. And the Mungetsu might not necessarily be as OP, but it's more concentrated. Basically, it's like uh, a bat versus a blade. One does more damage, but the other concentrates the damage more. Alright. Kinda hard. Honestly, if it, if that's how it ends, I think Ichigo win. But the question is, can he survive it? Because his best isn't anywhere near the power of a Genkidama. You know, the Tilt Beast Bomb. Eh. Still, it's gonna be interesting. I think this is more balanced than many people think. So, that depends. It really depends. If I had to do my lot, I'd say Ichigo win. If it comes down to a Genkidama versus the Mungetsu. What's that energy? Is that a hollow? Naruto, I sense a presence. <laughs> Naruto, wake up. Mars! <laughs> Oh, I see. see. Good. So that's now we're going. Like it was one of the Madara clones from the end of the series. Quit running, coward! Not at all. Keep moving. I'll direct you. Yeah. the best you can do Sorry, Bleach fans, I know you all really wanted a win, but unfortunately, this wasn't it. Naruto had better training, a broader arsenal, and a better healing factor. And Ichigo's invisible ghost buddy didn't really matter. Shinigami may be invisible, but they're still present in the physical realm and can be touched by normal people. Kurama can locate individuals by simply sensing their emotions, and Naruto's even seen his own soul before. And with six pads power, he could see and fight Madara's limbo clones, even though they were on a totally separate plane of existence. Also keep in mind that while Chakra and Reishi have fairly different uses, they both contain spiritual yep. energy. 
Let's talk speed. Naruto can dodge light speed attacks and can move faster than lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke is 220 million miles per hour, about one third the speed of light. Ichigo has also displayed lightning fast speeds, and even greater. Near the end of the series, Ichigo took a trip that should have taken seven days, but instead took nine hours and 15 huh. minutes. It's likely Kiriji here was referencing his accomplice's speed, like Ichibe, who can knock his foes 2,440 miles away and appear next to him in a second. Yuachi guy beat him by going twice as fast, so we'll use that as Ichibe's limit. With that, we can get the trip's total distance and conclude Ichigo's top speed is 319 million miles per hour. That's massively hypersonic, but not quite light speed. Still, there's a difference between travel speed and reaction speed, as Naruto's already shown. Comparing them directly, Ichigo's best reaction should clock in at around 970 million miles per hour, 40% faster than light speed and Naruto's reaction mm -hmm. time. All right, point for Ichigo. Speed alone wasn't enough, though, especially since Naruto's sage powers gave him superb field awareness, making it difficult for Ichigo to land a fatal blow. If he could even land something fatal at all. Ichigo has always had a tough time damaging foes who have stronger spiritual energy than him. With that said, let's compare his Ryatsu to Naruto's chakra. Bad news is, across both of them, the only multiplier we know for sure is Ichigo's times 10 Bankai. The times 10 is difficult to achieve, but for Ichigo's sake, let's assume he gets the maximum possible boost from every transformation. His other forms likely don't boost his stats this much. For example, when he used his Hollow Mask to barely overpower an Aran car, the situation and its results were similar to his then comparable Shinigami friends releasing their limiters, which gave each of them a boost of times 5. However, let's give the benefit of the doubt and apply the maximum times 10 increase to all of Ichigo's forms that clearly increased his fighting potential, as well as stack them even though many forms were in separate unconnected power sets. For the sake of argument, we're deliberately overestimating Ichigo's power. You'll yeah. see why. So here's our formula, but where do we start? Okay, Bankai Ichigo with his Hollow Mask was on par with Ukiora's first transformation, correct? Well, nearly. Ukiora states his new form can destroy the city of Las Noches in the hollow world of Cueco Mundo. What's that, like Mexican <laughs> hell? Well, there is a wall. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Las Noches is square in shape and takes three days to walk from one corner to a gate in the center of the wall. So it has a total area of 200,000 square miles. That's bigger than California, and destroying it in one go needs over 400,000 megatons of yeah. TNT. So plug that into the formula, and there you have it. Ichigo's Ryatsu is equal to over 440 billion megatons nah, of TNT. Close. Thankfully, Naruto's chakra level is much easier to figure out. His chakra was once extracted and burst a hole through the hollow moon. He survived the explosion, and it was explicitly said that this was nearly all of his chakra. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. By measuring the aftermath from both sides, we found the blast to equal at least 480 billion megatons of TNT, 40 billion more than Ichigo. And don't forget, we were deliberately overestimating him. Also, this was base form Naruto, not including any increases from additional modes, which allowed him to block an attack that cut the moon in half, a force that had to be over 27 trillion megatons. This proves Naruto can both output and survive a blast stronger than Ichigo is capable of. If you're thinking, wait, Boomstick, Ichigo survived a black hole in a box. That move doesn't really work like a black hole. <laughs> Plus, the 814 kiloton Frager yeah, Blast both. did hurt him immediately after, so it must have uh, been weaker than that. But Wiz, weren't Kaguya and Yuwaka Waka planet busters? Don't they scale to him? Nope. Kaguya's planet busting attack required chakra from nearly the entire Earth's population, not just her own. And while Yuok's power was pretty OP, he couldn't destroy the world through his own destructive capability. He only planned to manipulate the delicate balance between life and death by stopping the flow of souls. Like a plate spinning on a stick, if one side gets too heavy, the whole thing comes crashing yeah. down. To sum it up, Ichigo had the speed, they both had the guts, and Naruto had the strength, durability, training, and abilities for days. Naruto sure got the shonen jump on yeah. Ichigo. The winner is Naruto yeah. Uzumaki. Yeah, there was only one way. Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the and next death happen, battle. So and if you want to watch Naruto exclusive commentary on this way. episode, click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. So, who's Try next? Grab one of these shirts, too. Not familiar. Uh, oh, Batman. What's the 
Oh, the future. So, we have the successors next. Interesting. Anyway, interesting fight. <laughs> Quite short, actually. Since the crushing majority of the episode had to be to the, for the stats, and, you know. It's understandable, there was a lot of information here. But still, what do we have? Well animated, fun. <laughs> and finally, we get this put to bed. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you around. Don't forget to subscribe and you know the drill. Ta-ta!